Hey, what's going on, my people? If you are considering selling a drum machine or a synthesizer, before you do, let's capture all of the sounds from that device and save them in a format that you can easily import into just about any software or hardware uh, sampler. Uh, hang out with me for just a couple minutes. I have something I'd like to show you. This is a program called Sample Robot. It's an application that allows you to record every preset from your device and save that into a format that's easily uh, able to be imported into just about any hardware or software sampler. I am sampling today my Yamaha TG33. I'm gonna capture all of the presets from the device, including the multi samples and the individual waveforms. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you a program here called Sample Robot. Let me just show you briefly. When you open up Sample Robot, it's gonna ask you a couple questions and blow right through. Let's get this thing set up and let's start sampling. Uh, first thing is, do you wanna do automatic recording, which is for MIDI devices, semi-automatic recording in B4 analog devices, or you can also record your plugins. I'm gonna name this my Yamaha. TG33, and then the first preset I'm going to capture is a preset called Genesis. From there, you just set your path where you'd like to save your sound to, which input or output my device is plugged into at 3 and 4, and then you set how you want to uh, sample it. I'm doing 4816 stereo. We can set yours to whatever works best for you, and then you set the MIDI port. From here you set your MIDI channel and also if you intend on doing program changes you'll start at number one. I have a 61 key controller so I am going to use a 61 key device. From there how many samples per key would you like to capture? For simple sounds two is uh, sufficient. If you have a more complex sound or if you're recording drums you may want to record possibly a, a couple different velocity layers. I'm just going to set it for two. Every eighth key I'm going to record a new sample, and in fact, I'm gonna record multiple samples uh, for each key. I'm gonna record these intricate um, uh, transient waveform, you know, these wave sequences, I should say, and uh, they take a bit more time. If these were drums or a bass sound, I would just do four and a half seconds, it'd be fine. I set my device up to automatically loop, just in case if I want to, I could always turn it off later. And here you set how complex your sound is, I found intermediate to work fine. From here, you're ready to start recording your device. Now again, I'm sampling the Yamaha TG33. I have the MIDI uh, already set up. Now I've uh, got the audio set up and I'm ready to start recording. I'm going to stop just because this is just a representation of how the program works. But essentially from there, you would save your preset to wherever you'd like uh, in your hard drive. Now, this is very interesting. So that's just saving the, uh, the sample robot file. But now I'm going to show you how we export this sample that just created. So we just captured the Genesis preset from the Yamaha TG33. I can easily duplicate this uh, patch, name it whatever the next patch is. And set it up to do the the uh, um, the program changes. OK, so then I'm going to record the next preset and so on and so forth. So you can just bam, 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 bang it right out and uh, sample your entire device. But in this instance, I'm just showing you this one. I have a couple multi samples recorded. In your instance, you'd have your entire key bed Every eighth key would be uh, a sample. We're just doing three as a, a demo. From there, I'm going to go to export. And I, you, as you can see, there's a, many, many different options. I export mine as sound fonts. 
it creates the program for me. Everything is set up perfectly. I've got my samples. It just, it works great. Uh, because I use Ableton Live Sampler the most, so I can easily just drag and drop sound font files right into the Ableton, sample, uh, the Ableton Sampler, and it works perfectly. So now I save my preset as a sound font to file. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already saved mine. From there, we're going to go ahead and pop into Ableton Lives because we've now recorded our sound, our preset using Sample Robot. First, we're going to go to the actual Yamaha TG33, and here you're hearing the audio. Now here's the sample of the Genesis sound. So what I've done is um, Sample Robot has created this file, the sound font file, and then all the waveforms are underneath. So I essentially just go to whatever preset I want. I drag and drop it onto the Ableton sampler and then it imports it into my user library. So from there, I have simply created within sampler now a folder that has all the presets. So this is awesome because I have now the Yamaha GG33 completely captured. I've gone through and recorded every single preset. So let's go uh, to the Genesis preset. Okay, here's all the waveforms that have been created. They're automatically mapped out on the Ableton sampler, which is awesome. And as you see, there's two samples per key. So we have uh, uh, multi samples. Now here is the sound of the Ableton sampler playing the sample robot uh, samples uh, from the TG33. Now here's the actual Yamaha TG33. So as you can hear, they're, they're more or less identical. Uh, the uh, awesome thing is that with the Ableton sampler, you have all the options as far as setting up envelopes, filters, uh, modulation, and I find the uh, MIDI destination. This is kind of similar to my Kurzweil. I just love this aspect of it. In any case, I hope this gave you a quick example of how you can capture all the sounds and all the hard work that you've done creating custom patches in your synthesizer or your drum machine if you decide you want to unload it for one reason or another. Um, in any case, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up with some comments. And uh, thanks for hanging out and checking it out.